What's up guys and welcome back to the video and welcome to Cars Down Under. This is going to be the first proper car we've had on the channel and it is a beautiful 97 S14. So eight years, seven, eight years ago this started out as a fully bone stock automatic SR20 DE and the owner over those years has converted it to manual and put the SR20 DET in it. There's an MX-5. <laughs> um, and he has done pretty much anything and everything you can think of it. Um, so let's start with the drivetrain, I suppose. So as I say, SR20 DET down under. Um, it's got, what turbo? I've got a whole list of here of the um, specifications he hasn't appeared which turbo it is on there um, but either way it's got a generation 1 HKS blow off valve um, which you can no longer buy anymore HKS intake um, it's got a nice big ready intercooler down there there you go nice big thing um, it's got all the noises it's got a full I think a three and a half inch exhaust all the way back. So it makes it like that pops. Um, what else have we got? Um, so up, let's start with sort of the wheels and stuff like that. Uh, we've got R32 GTR brakes, pretty common, um, I don't know, modification you would do to this. Um, the wheels, as you can see, are absolutely beautiful. They are Kenzine's LLXs. Um, they are the 18s by 9.5, 25. Um, and then the rears are 18, 10 and a half, 35. Um, so they are rather spicy if you ask me. Um, what else have we got? Got a genuine, or genuine shall I say. Um, oh my gosh, my mind has gone blank. Ganadors, there is the word. And there, they're pretty cool. It's got a nice little, I suppose, splat. I don't know if you'll call that, or an actual wing on a mirror. It's a wing mirror, I don't know. A uh, nice little detail there. Um, and then the body kit is something else. It's uh, got a real weird name to it. Uh, if I can just find it on here. This is called, one minute. Uh, so yeah, full origin labo body kit. Um, and then the rear guards are actually custom made so he brought one set and then didn't quite look for the, make of, uh, the shape of it so he brought another set and then he all did it himself and blended it all in fiberglass and stuff like that so if you scrape on this it will shatter to pieces but that's why we treat them like our Jesus our baby Jesus I suppose um, nice little aero wing that you don't really see too many times nowadays. A uh, nice little uh, fin coming off the top. With some street side stickers all down there, which are pretty cool. And you also got my banner on the top. Uh, but coming inside, we've got some Bride Lomax bucket seats and a half cage, which is pretty nice. And a nice little Nismo gear knob on there. Um, what else have we got? Got a whole list of things here. Probably haven't gone through half of them. Um, let's have a little look on here. Uh, yellow Speed Pro Dynamic Coil Overs. Um, fully adjustable camber arms, toe arms, caster arms, everything you can think of. And that is currently maxed out. So he's hoping to get some like more adjustable ones in the future, which will look mint. Just needs personally a bit more camber, but it looks mint as it is. Um, what else? He's got a Nismo two-way diff in the rear as well. So nice heavy duty diff, which definitely locks up the wheels when it needs to, but this car isn't made for doing that. <laughs> it's just cool to have it in. Uh, what else have we got in here? Um, yep, so that roof spoiler was a D-Max roof spoiler. Um, and then the paint job is a fully custom paint job so it's, as you can see it's black but i'm hoping there's like some red flakes in it which i'm really hoping you can see 
Um, I'll try and find some. You can still see them here. There, you can still see them there. Yes, yeah, you can see it better in person, um, but it looks amazing. Um, so coming around to the front as well, got a nice little silver plate. Um, we've got new headlights, and also we've got some rear LED headlights as well, which uh, probably looking pretty good. There's a little bit of condensation, just the seal is a bit dodgy, but it looks good at night. It looks like a Batman car, to be honest. I saw it the other night, and it just it just looks like an actual Fast and Furious car. It's pretty insane. Uh, what else have we got on here? Um, I up so the, the body kit. Sorry, I said it was an orange and labo. Um, it is called a Eurus Type 4 Monkey Magic Body Kit. Um, so that's a pretty cool Japanese name, if you don't ask me. Um, the subframe is actually from a Nissan Stadia, and that is for the rear. Uh, it's just a little bit wider, gives it a bit more stance, which definitely didn't on this car it just looks pretty cool uh what else have we got i think that is actually about it um and then the wheel is a custom painted royal steering wheel sort of like some speckles sparkles uh it's pretty cool but i think that is actually about it guys um so definitely go down leave a like and comment as there's a few more cars i'd like to review hopefully in the future especially whilst the weather's nice in new zealand um, but yeah, go down, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, hope you like the video. Peace.